Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very wet morning, but we wish you a very warm welcome to the pre-commencement show 2012. I'm Timothy. I'm Gladden. And my name is Elton, and we are reporting live right here in University Culture Centre in NUS. That's right, and today we'll be witnessing the graduation of 380 students from the Faculty of Science, majoring in Life Science. That's right, I'm sure many of the students are very excited to be graduating today. But for those of you whose friends and family are unable to make it for today's ceremony, you can actually catch the webcast on our website or on mobile platforms. That's right, team. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll be excited to know that we have lots lined up just for you, such as interviews with the graduates, our professors, and even the parents as well. So don't go anywhere. In fact, we now present to you the NUS corporate video which encapsulates the rich and colourful life of students here in the university. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Our world is changing rapidly and profoundly. The changed world and the rise of Asia present unique opportunities for NUS to make a quantum leap to become a leading global university. We have what it takes to succeed.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Pre-Commencement 2012. My name is Elton and I have three graduates right here with me. Kang Ting, say hi to everyone, Kang Ting. Hi. And Nisha. Hello. And Samsudin. Hi. That's right. And uh, guys, you know, thank you so much you know, to, to come to this interview on your big day. And tell us more about uh, your journey uh, in NUS in these four years. Actually, we started as friends uh, during an orientation camp. Uh, as, a, as an annual camp, uh, Scott's camp. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we started as a participants and then became friends and then seniors. And then over time, we just became close friends. I see. And, yeah, and had yeah. lunch together and do go lectures together uh -huh. and things like that. Uh -huh. That is also the start of our sleepless <laughs> nights and then we have endless <laughs> lab reports to complete. Yes, which every student out there will identify yes, with Yes, and then coffee, lots and lots of coffee. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. but uh, overall, although it's been a challenging four years, I guess we can all agree that it's been a good four years as well. Yeah. I see. Now, Samsudin, you talk about challenge, right? So what is one thing that is the most challenging for all three of you? Well, uh, if by looking at their faces, uh, <laughs> the number of wrinkles and white hair has come Okay, let me count. Uh, one, two, uh, just kidding. <laughs> so I guess uh, we can all agree that it's the final year project. Final year yeah. project. Yeah. So, but what's so challenging about that, like final year project? Um, the thing about final year project is that um, in, as compared to the first three years where you just have modules, in the final year you have labs to attend to. And it's like some, some sort of a real life experience where you have to do work and then juggle b between modules and, and your research. So I think that's where the challenge comes about where you have to manage your time well and then as well as getting negative results. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So and, then, and then trying again until you yeah. get a positive yes, one. Exactly. Definitely. So ne the, the never give up spirit, right? Yeah, like yeah. energizer. It's like, keep, it's like keep suddenly, going. you know, you have yeah. something real going on. Yes, yeah. and you have that sense of achievement, exactly. for sure. Exactly. After that, when you finish writing your CCs and you submit it, oh, you felt yeah. really good on that day. Yes, <laughs> let's party after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this particular incident that we remembered. So what happened it was it was like a few weeks before our honours TC submission. Uh -huh. So they came over to the seminar room at PGP, where I was staying, and we were dealing with all our honours TCs and all that and then we even had like pizza delivery for oh, dinner pizza, okay. yeah and we worked through the night and before we know it it was um 4 a.m oh wow uh, very yeah. diligent bunch of students here <laughs> there's nothing we can do we're so tired yeah. so we did the most impromptu thing we started ordering mcdonald's mac delivery we had <laughs> breakfast and then started watching some repeated telecasts of a soccer match oh like wow, a that is very enriching match, for you guys right? yes, very exactly. exciting yeah. and we crazy kids like shouting goal at 5 a.m in the and morning and su surprisingly we are able to actually go through the whole night, you know, without even sleeping and it, we, we were quite effective in doing our thesis as well. Well, I guess yeah. actually, you know, uh, make a bond stronger with each other. Yeah, I'm exactly, sure. Yeah. Effective and I fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For I sure. think all honours yeah. students will agree that your honours years will definitely be the toughest year of all. But it's always like friends around you that makes the year so much enjoyable and so much easier to pass. Well said, yeah. Kang Ting. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> so I understand that, uh, you know, outside of this academic uh, studies that you have, you, you guys have your own, uh, own set of skills and own set of passion that you guys have. Right. Can't think, tell me more about it. I actually own an online shop. I sell ladies' handbags and shoes. Doesn't wow. really match my image as a life science student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's something I really enjoyed doing. I see, I see. How about you? For my case, is, uh, I was part of a mentoring program where you teach primary six students. Yeah, so I really enjoyed because you not only teach them, but you also you have friends from the uni university, NUS, NTU, and even other universities. Um, you get to um, Interact with each other, uh, inspiring camps, them, enrichment, enrichment right. activities for the students. So it's really like a, like a package That's kind right. of CCA. All round the yeah, package. Yeah. How yeah. about yourself? Um, other than the sports committee, I was part of the uh, interfaculty games mm -hmm. and also the Singapore Model United Nations, where we discuss with other delegates about current issues and develop policies on how to improve them further for the world. Wow, guys, you guys sound really like an all rounder. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. What what other things you can you not do? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> exactly <laughs> my point. So guys, you know, very, very lastly, give a love shout out to your family, friends, and lo your loved ones out there. Well, uh, to the graduates of 2012. Happy, happy graduation. graduation. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The three graduates have sharing their experiences. Coming up next, we have an interview with our Timothy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Pre-Commencement Show 2012. I am Timothy, and here with me, I have two very lovely ladies from the Faculty of Science graduating today. So, ladies, would you like to introduce yourselves and tell us uh, what you'll be graduating with today? Hello, everybody. My name is Carmen. I'll be graduating with honours from Life Science. Um, I'm, my name is Wavian. I'm also graduating with honours from Life Science. Okay, ladies. So, um, you know, 
today is a very exciting day for you, I'm sure. So how exactly are you feeling about your graduation? Can you tell me a bit? Actually, I feel pretty nervous and uh, also because we are graduating already, so we'll be going out into the working world and it's pretty intimidating okay. thinking about it. Yeah, um, I guess it's pretty much the same for myself. Mm. Like, um, I'm a little sad because like, I'm no longer a student. I can't do stupid mistakes and be forgiven, right? Yeah. yeah. But I am excited to take the next step forward. Okay, okay. So speaking of the next step, uh, could you guys share with me what are your future plans after graduating? Oh, actually, I'm already working. Yeah. I'm working at a flavor house. I'm doing marketing at the flavor house. Oh, okay, yeah. that's nice. Vivian? Um, as for myself, I'll be starting work soon um, in a hospital. Yeah, yeah uh, as an executive. It's an admin sort of job. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, could you tell me what is the one thing that you'll be missing the most now that you're about to leave behind four years of spending your life here in the US? Mm, for me, it will be the hostel life, uh, the friends that I made, all the times that we spent studying together, uh, the Boya week, <laughs> the yeah, yeah, week. <laughs> and then the suppers, all the HT, HT, mm. yeah, all those times, I, I really miss them a lot. Okay. Yeah, for me, yeah, I mean, hall is a big part of my NUS life, yeah. and besides that, I guess, dancing. Yeah, because I'm in a dance group in NUS. Okay. Yeah, I'll miss that a lot, I believe. Mm. Okay, okay. So, is there any memorable event or experience that you can recount for us in your time in NUS? Uh, for me, it will be the summer exchange. I went to Toronto, Canada for a summer exchange with my hostel friends as well. Oh. Yeah, and um, the time that we spent there is also unforgettable. All the, times, all the weekends that we spent traveling uh, and even going for lectures. Yeah, it was really unmem okay. um, unforgettable. <laughs> I guess for me, um, my most memorable experience would be uh, Boya Week, whereby I had to stay up late like every single day up to like 4 a.m. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, girls, I would like to congratulate you guys uh, once again for graduating today, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank yep. you. Okay, right now, guys, we have a congratulatory message coming up from the Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Andrew Wee. Congratulations on your fine achievements. You and your families have every reason to be proud today. Your science education has equipped you with strong analytical skills and scientific knowledge. Technology today is evolving very quickly, and I'm confident that science graduates are adaptable to a wide range of careers. This commencement from NUS marks a key milestone in your life. You will have many fond memories of your time in NUS, both the university and the faculty will continue to help keep these memories alive by keeping you informed of developments on campus. I wish you every success and happiness for your future. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the pre-commencement show 2012. Thank goodness the rain has cleared out and we are seeing sunny, sunny skies again. Now with me here is Trey Ching, who is graduating today with a Doctor of Philosophy in Life Sciences. Yes, hi. Now, Tracing, it isn't easy, you know, deciding to take up a PhD or master's even. So, what actually prompted you to take up studying master's and PhD? Um, I guess for myself, um, it was after the honours uh, project that I found life science very intriguing. Like the things that we do to discover new um, things, new concepts. Mm -hmm. So, I thought that, you know, following up with a master's and subsequently a PhD was just a very natural process. Yeah, it was just the interest that, that mm. cannot really be explained in words. I see. Yeah. So it's, you know, due to your interest and it's also, you know, your field of work because you're actually doing research right now in yes, a lab. That's yes. Right. Yeah. And you also mentioned that, you know, DBS actually offers, uh, you know, chances for training. Yes, yes. Yeah. So um, during this time where, where I was like doing the PhD, mm. the, the whole program itself is very enriching. Yeah, they included like modules that isn't just um, plain like mugging, but the modules actually equip you to like problem solve and things like that. Yeah, and also um, we have journal clubs and we have um, we have teaching assign teaching assistant uh, duties. So all these things actually are very holistic because they help us to think about science um, for journal clubs to critique it, and then like for. The teaching, assi uh, teaching assistants, we, we actually need to learn how to communicate science properly. So the whole, um, the whole program, on top of doing research itself, uh, was very enriching. Yeah, and really, we have to thank our professors for crafting this experience for us. 
Yeah. Okay, you know, leading on to that, are there actually more people you would like to thank? I know that your mom is here today with you. Yes, um, of course, definitely. I would like to thank um, my family, um, my loved ones, especially my mom, who has been very supportive of um, having me not um, go to work after <laughs> I graduated from undergrad, but um, allowed me to continue on in postgrad to pursue my interests. Yeah, thank okay. you, mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't go away because coming right up is the Faculty of Science video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to pre-commencement 2012. I have three graduates with me, and uh, you know, why don't you introduce yourselves to the audience right here? Starting, Starting with Starting from you, yes. Okay. <laughs> Nearest Hi, to me. Hi, I'm Ricky, and uh, everybody's from life science, I think. Yes, everyone <laughs> is. How about yourself? I'm Jing Song. Uh, I'm Xin Ying. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, hi. <laughs> wave hello to your audiences. Thank you so much for you know having this interview with us. Uh, I understand this is your big day. So tell us how is your you know how is your experience like uh, in these four years? I'm sure there are ups and downs and all that. Share with the audience right here. Okay, actually it's quite <laughs> stress. <laughs> stress. <laughs> yeah. Why but, so? Why so? Yeah, in. Because NUS is a top university in global, so actually it's somehow stressed. But uh, on another side of it, it's quite interesting and it's very lively in NUS. So I believe the syllabus is rigorous and it has trained yeah. you to be prepared for the next phase of life. Yes, for I believe that. I see. I think that like uh, students have to have to handle like multitask at the same time. You have your CCA research research project and also your, your own study module. So everything comes together and yeah, you really have to learn how to manage your time, even your emotion. That's right. I think pretty much with uh, real life out there, you have to learn how to multitask, you know, how to deal with uh, emotions, how to deal with people, yeah. ultimately, right? How about yourself, Ricky? Um, actually, I think that it's stress, but actually uh, in NUS, there's a lot of opportunities such as NUS, uh, NOC, uh, or going to other countries summer program or um, going to a, a student exchange program. You sound like you're someone who, who likes to travel. Yeah, I like to travel. You have experiences, quite a lot. right? Share yeah. with us. Um, I've been around quite a lot. I was actually uh, born in USA and then I moved back to Malaysia and then I came here to Singapore for the tertiary education. And Good um, choice. maybe I'll go somewhere later in my life. I see, I see. How about yourself? Uh, actually, I went to a summer program in Costa Rica. Costa Rica, a very exotic yeah. place. Famous for coffee, right? Coffee. Yes, coffee. Yes. I'm sure you drank, you drank a lot over there. Uh, <laughs> Trying to stay really. awake in the next go. <laughs> okay, tell us more about that. Uh, actually, in Costa Rica, I'm for, I go for an environmental biology research program. Uh, we did a lot of field trip over there. So, actually, uh, I count the turtles in along the beaches. I see. Yeah, and also we uh, work in the jungle. Uh, the most interesting part, I think, is to catch the bats in the jungle. And you dare to do that? Uh, there's a teaching assistant there to wow. assist us. Wow, my hat's off you. My hat's yeah. off you. Yeah, you're very, very daring. So, you know, lastly, let's do uh, probably a love shout out to your family members and your professors out there. Okay, yeah. so uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank All of us like, uh, from Professor Fu Xinyuan Labs and we would like to say thank, thank you, you Professor Fu. Fu and also our family members and, and, and friends. friends. Thank, thank you, you thank for you. your thank help. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for having uh, just for, for being here. Yes. 
biggest congratulations once again, guys. Thank you. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, uh, coming up next, we have montage from the first ceremony. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the pre-commencement show 2012. I'm Timothy, and I have with me two wonderful students who are about to graduate today from the Faculty of Science. So guys, would you like to introduce yourselves and tell us what you'll be graduating with today? Okay, uh, my name is Aisha, and I'm from the Faculty, faculty of Science. Yeah, and I'm graduating with a uh, degree of merit in life science. Yeah. Hi, I'm Yao Le. I'm also graduating from biology and I'm from Faculty of Science. Okay, okay, guys, tell me, you know, today is a big day for the two of you, I'm sure. Uh, yep. How are you feeling on this day? Um, I'm very pleased, yeah, and I'm very um, thankful for um, all my parents' help, nah, as in for getting me here, yeah. All right. A little bit of jitters <laughs> and also, like, finally glad that it's all over. A little bit, yeah. a little bit of jitters, not yeah. too much. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't you tell me a bit about why you decided to uh, pursue life sciences as a, a major? Uh, no specific reason. It's just something that I've always known I wanted to do. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm glad I actually took this route. Okay, yeah. that's good. For me, it's something that I wanted to pursue since JC. And ever since then, I wanted to do life sciences. Mm, okay. Yeah. So now that you're, you are graduating, what are your future plans after you leave the school? Oh, um, for me, I'm uh, going to do teaching. Mm. So yeah, I'm going to start actually um, this August. Okay, that's yeah. great. I don't have a solid plan yet, but I plan to go into something related to science. Mm. Yeah, but not really research. But Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so... After having spent four years in the university, right, what is the one thing that you think you're going to miss the most about university life? 
Definitely the friends that I've met. Yeah, as in in addition to the knowledge that we gain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. For me, it will be the activities yeah. that I get to spend my time on and as especially the freedom of time. Mm, yeah, I think definitely that's one of the things that we don't get to enjoy as much once we get into the working world, right? Yeah. Um, is there any memorable event that you can think of in your four years that you would like to share with us that might be interesting? Um, nothing really comes in mind right <laughs> okay. now, but yeah. Okay, Yowlet? Maybe it's the projects, the yeah. endless projects that I had for mm. the last SEM. Yeah, we just kept going out to do excursions and research. Oh, okay. So what, what, what exactly did your projects uh, entail? We had to grow a plant from, from seed yeah. yeah, and make it flower. Okay, okay. That's, That's quite challenging <laughs> for a short period of time. Okay, okay, great. Guys, do you want to send out a last thank you message to your friends and family out there? Um, I would like to thank uh, my family and friends, especially uh, my parents, for um, being very supportive. And yeah, so I'm very thankful for that. Okay. And also my professors, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would like to thank my mom, my friends, and also my professors. Okay. Yeah, they gave me chances. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, guys, uh, yeah. congratulations for graduating today. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Thank right you. now, ladies and gentlemen, we have upcoming a video from the Office of Alumni Relations, so please stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and you've just watched the video from the Office of Alumni Relations. So with that, we've come to the end of the pre-commencement show 2012. Indeed, once again, we'd like to extend our deepest congratulations to those graduating today from the Faculty of Science. That's right, and coming up next, graduates, we have a reflections video for you to reminisce on your journey in NUS. Lastly, my name is Elton. I'm Gladden. And I'm Timothy, and we'll see you next time. Congrats and signing out. My parents were pretty worried uh, about me spending so much time in uh, students' union activities. I was vice president of the students' union, editor of the undergrad, and so on. But eventually, when they found that I was making uh, fairly good grades, they stopped uh, chasing me about uh, my involvement in students' union activities. So we spent 48 hours at um, engineering, I think it was E4. 
so the group of us, four of us, we went there. Um, we arrived about 48 hours before the deadline, thinking that, you know, we, we, we're dead. We are the only guys who, who have only 48 hours to complete this. And then when we got there, it turns out that every, all our classmates were all there. When I first think of NUS, the first thing that comes to my mind is actually the friendships we have built. Because you, you go out with them, you eat dinner with them every day, and then you exchange ideas. In the central forum area, because it's always very lively, there's always a lot of shopping to do, and it's where I kind of like spend my free time when I'm stressed. It was, it was a pathway outside of UCC, and I was just walking up, and it's a, it's a slope. I remember walking in and thinking that, oh wow, this feels slightly like home, how unnerving. I guess for me, the most memorable part about NUS for me was probably the day I matriculated. Um, queuing outside the university hall with studying and uh, we study a lot <laughs> and um, the place that we study is called Fazer. It's at the former medical library. So we all congregate there just before an exam and we muck about, um, we try and study. We do get a lot of work done. <laughs> At that time when I was a student, it was a very different Singapore, very different university. That was in the early 60s, and I was a law student. Most of my camp, uh, student life was uh, at the Bukitima campus, which of course had fewer buildings at that time. And since I was uh, involved in students' union uh, work, uh, we had a students' union house where I practically worked and, uh, and lived, or at the, at the, as the term used then was, we squatted there, you know, day in and day, in, day out. And, and that almost uh, was my home, so to speak, during the four years I was there. Those were uncertain times for the university, for Singapore, Malaya, Malaya or Malaysia. Uh, what was going to be the future of Singapore? It was uncertain. And together with that, what was the future of the university? In those days, we had the fun aspect, that is, uh, organizing activities, sports. Uh, we organized the first rag and flag day uh, in my time. But we also had the serious stuff, which is uh, working with uh, the Students' Union representative from Nanyang, Nanta Students' Union, uh, on matters concerning the future of Singapore. And we also had uh, serious discussions with the students' uh, union representatives in, uh, in Malaysia. Uh, we forged many close uh, friendships, which we kept up uh, even after graduation. My education in NUS, I was trained as an electrical engineer, um, but I would say the most significant part of my education in NUS is, is the part that enabled me to cross from being an engineer, being a science-oriented person, to really think about business issues. Um, so, for example, I spent a lot of my time during my NUS days. Um, I participated in the NOC program, the NUS Overseas College program, whereby we interned for a year and studied overseas. Um, as well as, for example, participated in many programs such as the Technopolitan Minor, the Startup at Singapore Business Plan Competition, of which we, we, we actually participated for four times. Um, so through those experiences, it enabled me to really cross over from being an engineer to think about how do we uh, create a new product, how do we innovate with technology, how do we um, create a business out of new technology. And, and I think that forms the fundamental cornerstone of what we learn to use, which we use to... Often in Singapore, you, you, as you know, we often chase after grades and chase after performance and so on, but NUS has always this distinct advantage for me that allows me to, to be flexible about what I learn. I chose to study at NUS because of the University Scholars Program. Um, I always knew I wanted to do economics, but I could have done that in any of the universities in Singapore. But the University Scholars Program was like that icing on the cake because they offered interdisciplinary studies, they offered exchange programs, which, I'm, which I know NUS itself offers and other universities offers as well. But I feel like the, the, the Scholars Program is just very nicely packaged I chose NUS because, uh, I mean, despite, despite the many great things about the conservatory, which is the, the scholarship and um, the great faculty and you know, the, the endless stream of great artists coming into NUS to, to teach and share their ideas, what more important is that um, 
is actually being here in Singapore. It's just because the music scene in Singapore is just beginning to start to take wing. It's really exciting. Well, I guess for me, studying in Singapore makes me it's a very it's a very comfortable decision. Someone is there to do the laundry for me, my food, my meals get cooked for me, and I think that allows that frees out a lot of time for me to do many, many things. But I spoke to my godmother, and uh, she said uh, she's a doctor, and she said why not NUS? All the doctors, most of them that practice here, if you think they're good, they were trained in NUS. I was trained in NUS. I think it's because NUS has a very strong tradition uh, of and kind of like. Um, it's well known for being good, I mean, you know, it's ranked highly and it's also, I think, a very good place to get a local education. I didn't just want to study um, and just get good grades, I wanted to explore a lot of other things um, within my four years in NUS. Well, in medicine, you don't really have a classroom. The world is your classroom, um, the wards are your classroom. Every single patient um, is a teaching session. I think a lot of it is going to the wards and explore the same disease can have different manifestations on different patients and the impact on different patients is tremendous. Uh, you talk about their lives, you talk about where they live, um, where they come from and, and the difficulties they face financially, socially and it's, it's opened my eyes. I went to the US because I was on the joint degree program. So when I went overseas, I began to see a lot more um, about how NUS could enhance my education. And you know, I didn't realise that I knew so little about the world. I went to China for overseas CI, uh, CIP trip twice. I remember asking for more soup. So I, so I went to a lady and said, uh, yao tang? And then she took a jar of sugar, literally she took a jar of sugar and she gave it to me and I was like, no, yao tang, na ke ke he de. And, and, and then she was like, oh, you want, some, you want sugar that can be drunk? I think one of my best experience uh, in the school was doing this concert with uh, Leon Fleischer. Leon Fleischer is a pianist in the United States. He was a great pianist in the 50s and 60s until he hurt his, his hand and he couldn't play for a good 30, 40 years. And, um, and he, was, he was trying to get his hand back to where it used to be. And recently, he's like 70, 70 plus years old, he started to play with both hands again. We did Rachmaninoff too, which is a beautiful symphony. And, and that was pretty much my, my favourite experience. Butterflies was an idea created by Darius, so Darius will talk to you more about butterflies. <laughs> it was his inception. Uh, okay, I might have come up with a spark that you know lit the fire and all that, but uh, we all did it together. I think there's something very special in this last year that needs to be captured. Uh, it needs to at least be written in black and white, so that at least when we look back, we have something. And that's what Butterflies is about. It's about all our memories. <laughs> Graduation day. <laughs> graduating from university is, uh, is, is graduating from 15 years of education. Hopefully we'll join the ranks of being good doctors. <laughs> For me, I think it's, it's just the beginning of a lifelong journey of learning. Um, it's exciting, but it's also really scary. Graduation day means the day of realisation that after five years of studying, it, something is finally coming true and it also brings about a lot of responsibility because all this one in five years, you have no real patient ownership. You can say whatever you want for suggested treatment. You can technically kill a patient in theoretical terms, but nothing really happens. Don't say that. <laughs> but and, but and you just get scolded. But now in real life, you will be the one prescribing a drug and there are consequences to your actions and suddenly this sense of responsibility is setting in and it's a bit daunting actually for me. I agree, I agree. Um, there's a distinct difference being in school which you are giving a set goal of exams and so on to graduating whereby now you're setting your own goals now you decide what to do with your life for the next 40 years So whatever risk you want to take, do it now because we are all, we still have time when we're young Well, don't look back Go ahead with what you want to do in life and be sure that what you have learned in school really makes a difference Say never, never, never give up I think we should be bold We should be brave enough to realise that uh, we can make mistakes, we can rediscover ourselves. Remember your friends, remember all the memories that we've shared. Uh, remember the good times, the bad. The most important thing I think I've learned over the last six years is to find meaning in everyday life. Whether it is in work or in other parts of life. I think every individual has to work out for himself or herself. Uh, what, what you want to do with your life. I think the university then 
and now uh, gives an individual first-rate education. But my advice is uh, to seize the opportunities to forge that much more connections with the university and with your former colleagues uh, and it will stand you in, in, in very good stead. University education goes far beyond the training of the mind. It's about the friendships and experiences that shape our character and values. It is about a community that values new ideas, celebrates diversity and recognises achievement in the broadest sense of the word. For the graduating class, you have been a vital part of the richness of our community. We have watched with pride how you have blossomed and grown and we are so happy to celebrate your graduation today together with your parents and family. I wish you all the very best in the path that you choose to pursue and always remember that you remain a valued part of our community as our NUS alumni. Also do remember that NUS will always be here for you. I declare open a ceremony for presentation of graduates in the Faculty of Science.
The speaker for this ceremony is Emeritus Professor Yu Choi Leong, who is no stranger to many here, having headed the faculty's Department of Biological Sciences until recently. Emeritus Professor Yu graduated from Nanyang University to embark on a successful career as a prolific research scientist and teacher. He has several patents and published works to his name, often leading and undertaking research at the frontiers of science. During his tenure as head of department, he was instrumental in developing the university's research capabilities and academic programs in the life sciences. He was also a key contributor to setting up the Mechanobiology Institute in Singapore, the nation's fourth research center of excellence. Through his leadership, the Department of Biological Sciences has built up a strong and sustained reputation for quality research in the Asia and Pacific. Emeritus Professor Yu will now deliver the commencement address. Mr. Nyam Tung Tao, Pro Chancellor, uh, National University of Singapore, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm honored to be the commencement speaker this morning. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for receiving your degree from NUS. Today, you're proud to be an NUS graduate. Tomorrow, NUS will be proud of you as our distinguished alumni. You are definitely luckier than I was. As a former chemistry graduate from the Nanyang University in Singapore, my degree was not recognized by the Malaysian government. If I had went back to a teaching position in Malaysia, I would be paid as a high school graduate. Okay? So instead of becoming a chemist in a cement factory, I decided to take the opportunity to pursue my graduate study in Canada. Fell in love in doing research, and that is my career as a lifelong scientist. This morning, I taught I would like to emphasize three messages, okay? The first one is that one need to have a global career outlook, and it's exciting time to be in Asia. Secondly, one needs to have some working attitude, you know, in terms of creativity, perseverance, and also uh, team big, uh, passion in what you are believing in doing. And finally, there's also a need in terms of your own character building. You know, to be a good citizen in Singapore, contributing to a more tolerant and inclusive society in, in, in our country. The first thing that we realize is that it is a very fast changing world with many uncertainty around the world. Many Middle East countries are having political turmoil and several European countries such as Greece, you know, Spain, and so on, are having their financial problems. Okay. In addition, there are also natural disasters, food safety, pollution, global warming, and many other things around the world here. Asia is actually one of the few bright spots uh, for in both opportunities and challenges. Um, for me, the two new economic engines of China and India are creating many industry, jobs, and opportunities, okay? Our ASEAN countries are making big progress for the last few decades, okay? The Singapore government and the local industry have also established many major industrial parks, real estate developments, joint venture or investment in China, India, Vietnam, and other ASEAN countries. They have created lots of opportunity for Singaporeans. My first advice to all the new graduates is to take this challenge uh, seriously if the opportunity arises. Be prepared to travel and to compete. Although life in Singapore is very comfortable with our hawker center providing good and delicious food, maybe we should be more daring you know, to try working in a new environment, and to develop a much stronger national network. To be realistic, you are also competing 
with many talented graduates from China, India, and many countries. I just got back from China a few weeks ago. There were, sub, there were 9 million high school graduates writing for the university entrance exam. And this is the twice the population of Singapore. Similarly, India is also building many new universities to train new graduates. So in a sense, we are competing with global talents. Singapore government has invested heavily to build up the biomedical industry as the fourth economic engine and to become the R&D hub for, you know, in Asia. It was critical at that time that you know, our uni we also at the university must build up the local talent and also the research infrastructure. As the former head of DBS and also the former director of the Office of Life Sciences, I was tasked to reorganize DBS into a research intensive department and to revamp and to implement our life science curriculums to build out our research infrastructure as well as to facilitate several multidisciplinary uh, cross-faculty research program in the life science arena. I'm happy to say that DBS has transformed itself to become a very research-intensive department beside our teaching commitments. And also two of the uh, program, the, uh, the cancer program and the structural biology program and later on become two of the Center for National Research of Excellence in Singapore, and they are the cancer science program and the mechanical biology program. So we can say that uh, you know, NUS is now a powerhouse in both research and teaching in this area. Singapore government have also increased you know, the, the R&D investment you know, from a modest $760 million earlier to $6 billion in 2009, and the new budget for 2011 to 2015 will be $16 billion. So it's therefore an exciting time for life sciences in Singapore. As the life science graduate, I would encourage you to consider pursuing research as your long-term career. It is known that technology development, rather than labor and capital, is the driving force behind economic growth in industrial nations. And I would like to read a quotation from the president of Yale University. The rising nations of the East all recognize the importance of an educated workforce as a means to economic growth. They understand the impact of research in driving innovation and competitiveness. Professor Richard Levine, President, Yale 2012. With the strong training that you receive from NUS, I hope many of you will be the leaders and mover in our life science related discipline, contributing to the prosperity and welfare of our society. The second thing that I would like to address is a basic work attitude that will make you a more successful individual. Opportunity comes and go, and it is the prepared one that will seize this opportunity to make a big difference. I would like to give you my own research career as an example. I was first appointed as an assistant professor in biochemistry at the uh, Memorial University of Newfoundland in St. John's, Newfoundland in the early 70s. Most of you may not have heard about Newfoundland. It is one of the poorest provinces with the worst weather in Canada. Yeah. We used to joke among ourselves that there's only two weather seasons in Newfoundland, and that is a cold and mild winter. As, old, as one of the few minority in the city, okay, I was frequently mistaken as the owner of a Chinese restaurant, famous for my fortune cookies, okay? 
So two incidents have changed my research career. My earlier research focused on biosynthesis of insulin, where I did my earlier postdoc at the Banding Institute in the University of Toronto. I was using the Atlantic cord as an experimental model to continue my study looking at the biosynthetic event of insulin. So my lab was established in the Ocean Science Center in Logi Bay. If I look through the window of my office, I can see icebergs floating and the blue wheels cruising through in May, in early May, quite frequently. So that is a life in Newfoundland. Okay. One morning in February, okay, the seawater that pumped in from the local uh, the bay into my indoor aquarium was minus one degree Celsius. No big deal if you look at it, minus one degree Celsius. Okay. But all the 200 plus cod, Atlantic cod in the fish tank that I have was completely frozen to death. None of them survived. Okay. I was quite devastated. At the same time, I was the most popular guy in the, at the center. Everybody in the center will have a free fresh cut for dinner. So to my surprise, when I, you know, that within the same tank, some of the flatfish, the winter flounder, was swimming happily you know, in, the, in, in the same tank and none of them die. Okay. So that gave me the idea and the drive to study why and how the winter flounder can survive in, in this sub-zero seawater temperature. And that led to the discovery of the fish antifish proteins, uh, important proteins for the survival of these animals living in a freezing en environment. While we were happily working on the antifreeze proteins, I was challenged by one of my colleagues working on salmon aquaculture, whether we can generate a, freeze, a freeze-tolerant salmon so that it can address the freezing problem in sea pan culture, a very common problem facing the salmon industry in Atlantic Canada and Maine in the United States. We accepted the challenge, and that was the beginning of our transgenic fish research. This led to the discovery of salmon, development of the salmon that have the antifreeze gene promoter linked to the salmon growth hormone gene. It was with this construct that led to the salmon growing at least two to three times faster than the control. The creation of the fast growing salmon was ranked one of the top 50 invention by Times Magazine in year two, 2010. 20 years after our first paper in Nature Biotechnology. If I have subsequently formed a biotech company. It was the first GM fish to go to the FDA panel for, in the United States for approval. I would like to point out that during my research career, the Canadian funding agency was very, Canadian funding agency was very generous to us, and my research grant on antifreeze proteins and the transgenic salmon were actually two of the most novel research proposals in the Canadian funding history. The message that I would like to bring home is that one needs to take risks and persevere in what you believe in and to strike when the opportunity arises. Serendipity, risk-taking, and perseverance are my key messages. The last message that I would like to talk is the building a personal character. I would like to use a quotation from Yi Ji as my encouragement to all of you. Many of you may have not heard about Yi Ji, which is one of the most popular Chinese literature, but definitely you have heard about Tai Ji, the yin and the yang. Okay. Yin and yang are the two faces of nature, and that is the si xiang, for four, four xiang, which is the four seasons, and then the ba gua, okay? So these are all from Yi Jing. My, my quotation to, in Chinese is, Tian xing jie, jun zi yi zi qiang bu xi. Okay. It's my personal favorite, 
And as a calligraphy lover, I have this writing frame in my own living room. So you are always welcome to come to my house and look at this, this my quotation. Okay? In English, there are different versions of translation. And my own humble translation is, the universe is forever moving. A scholar will persistently strive for excellence and to excel. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Pro Chancellor, may I present the graduates on whom the following degrees have earlier conferred? Doctor of Philosophy, Amrita Roy. <laughs> Anatha Raman Ramani. Anup Padmanabhan. Ashish Kumar Maurya. Chai Ping Chan. Chuck Li Ling. <laughs> Chan Su Ling Sarah. <laughs> Chen Guang. Chu T. Wang. <laughs> Chin Fei Li Jasmine. <laughs> Christian Julian Alice Ramachandra. Inoka Priyadashani Kuda Vidanagi. <laughs> Quick Take Bang, Jeffrey. <laughs> Lee Sing Wei, Ista. Lim Jim Kiat Kenny. <laughs> Lim Jack Wee. <laughs> Liu Fang Fang. Mohammed Shabazi. <laughs> Nguyen Antoine. <laughs> Nilofa Hussein. <laughs> Pek Junwei. Rupali Prasad. <laughs> Tan Kang Wei. <laughs> Hu Hai Tao. <laughs> 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 
Wang Chui Ching. <laughs> Yan Hong Yan. <laughs> Yap Yan Ling, Laura Marie. Sang Bin Bin. Sang Wei. Master of Science, Chu Yuan Ting. Tan Ka Yap. Tan Siu Hong Denise. Tok Chia Yi. Yi Kai. Zhou <laughs> Li. Mr. Pro Chancellor, may I present the graduates on whom the following degrees have been earlier been conferred? Double degree program, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Business Administration. Winner of the Holton Prize, Chen Tsirong. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, winner of the Mrs. P.C. Lim Medal, USB Scholar, Janim Tan Siu Sen. Winner of the Fraser and Neve Book Prize, USP Scholar, Tan Hui Ning, Amanda. <laughs> Winner of the Malayan Nature Society Silver Medal, Tan Kai In, Calvin. <laughs> Winner of the Straits Times Bronze Medal, Mark Brian Raphael. Winner of the NUSS Medal for Outstanding Achievement, Go Chun. <laughs> Winner of the Singapore Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Medal, Lim Shen Yan. Winner of the Legion Industrial Med Development Medal, Lucia Cordera Espinosa. <laughs> Winner of the Pharmacia Medal and Prize in Pharmacology, Lam Yik Liang. Winner of the Singapore Society for Microbiology and Biotechnology Medal and Prize, Mohamed Shahaba Chali. <laughs> Winner of the Lee Foundation Medal, Ng Bing Fu. <laughs> Winner of the Ranmi Shaw Medal and Prize, Tan Te Yong.
Winner of the Wallace Prize, Chiu Pei Rong. Winner of the Run Me Shaw Prize, Go Swat Feng Amanda. <laughs> Winner of the Singapore Institute of Biology Prize, Lo Bi Wei. <laughs> Winner of the Run Me Shaw Prize, Tan Ailin Aurelia. Winner of the Raffles Prize, Tseng Yi Wen. <laughs> USP Scholar, Alvin Woon Shen Rong. <laughs> USP Scholar, Jayadev Ranjay. USB Scholar, Ko Wei Chuan Elvin. <laughs> USB Scholar, Mohammed Hanif bin Asamat. <laughs> USB Scholar, Ong Li Sheng Raphael. Adeline Henry Basil. <laughs> Agawal Chirag. <laughs> Angbisya Jacinda. Ang Chin Wat, Jason. <laughs> Ang Wee Ting. <laughs> Anushka Ajit Mangaram. Arif bin Abdul Aziz. Ashwati Vipin. O Pei Sun. Chai Mei Chin. Chai Yue Lin. Chan Ching Ting. Shan Wei Shan, Gerard Theodore. <laughs> Chang Wing Ki, Kitty. <laughs> Chan Yun Lang, Brian. Sandra Kumaran Kirtani. <laughs> Chen Kang Ting. <laughs> Chen Shimin Cheryl. Chiong Kumwai, Cynthia.
Jong Simin Pearl. Chu Man Lok. Chia Hui Min. Chia Wei Chiang. Chiang Lai Peng. Chiang Yin Ning. Chin Fui San. Chin Ko Shing. Chiu Po Wei Diana. Chung Sheng Chahao Terence. Chong Chian Yi Debra. John Ching Yun. Chung Sui Fen Paimala. Chao Jia Wen Carmen. Chua Tsing Fang Estelle. Sipto. Cynthia Ong. Derek Johnson, son of Alfred. Eileen Xiao Pei Sing. Emmeline Quack Yang Lee. Eng Luan Ping. Even Tan Te Yuin. Mr. Pro Chancellor, may I present the graduates? on whom the following degrees have earlier been confirmed. Bachelor of Science, Fahana Osman. <laughs> Florentina Maria Widodo. Fung Pui Yim Shonin. Fu Jia Fang. Gei Chi Wei Daria.
Go Gao Ren Alexander. Go Chang Liang. Go Se Yin. Choi Chin Lui. Go Rong Jin Ricky. Hardy Vijaya. Hinky Hao Kenny. Hong Shu Den. Huang Du. Huang Yinxin. Jimmy Lo So Nin. Jason Lai King Ham. Jigna Rajesh Kumar. Jivinna Susi Giyanang. Johanna Johan Adam Chen. Zhong Yingwei. Kamala Dasang, Kani Dasang. Kavishna Kamala Kananda Arichichi. Kiyishin Kamen. Koki Ho Min Rachel. Kerbung Tet. Karushisa Mohammed Ibrahim. Koki Yong Kevin. Ko Ting Wei Kevin. Nabifen Sarah. Lai Weaving. Lam Shirney. Yi Bing Yin. Li Din Long, Li Gang, Yi Jia Chen, Li.
Ji Lin Bin. Li Chi Chi. Li Yin Chen. Li Yu Meng. Liang Qin Rick. Liu Jia Yi. Lim Bok Sin Risen. Lin Chongjin Rubin. Lim Lin Min Emily. Lin Mei Xin. Lim Shi Ya. Lin Su Ri Hana. Lin Xiao Yun Grace. Lim Xin Jie. Lin Jian Xiang Green. Lu Ru Lin. Louis Liu. Lu Ning Hui, Veronica. Lu Ming Xiang, Terence. Lou Shimin, Amanda. Lou Kaixin. Masmida Balu Jukubani. Mei Ai Lin. Melody So Min Li. Michelle Fu Wei Su. Benina Zuhao. Natani Wei En. Liu Kui Wei Tei. Liu Jie-Yin, Jacqueline. Liu Mei-Yang. Liu Wang-Yin, Lucinda. Liu 
Eng Chao Xiang. Eng Kai Nin, Florence. Eng Kai Xiang. En Mei Yin. En Pei Yun, Rachel. En Si Wai. En Kin Tin. En Wang Tin. En Wei Qin. En Wei Shan. Yisha Moha Rafik. Loshi Keda Jumat. Nahisa Kuma Mastapa. Nershida Wakta. <laughs> O'Royin Rachel. <laughs> Ong Benjamin. Ang Tai Rin Persina. <laughs> Oi Pei Quinn. <laughs> Ouyang Xinin. O.J. Rong. <laughs> Pavan Kao. <laughs> Pei Chu Yuk. Persina Koji Shin. <laughs> Quick Shu Wen Allen. <laughs> Rachel Chow Ko Mei. Rafe Ko Jin Jie. <laughs> Rivata Utama. <laughs> Riki Ying Kei Wei. Sadidudin Advi Sema Lama. <laughs> Sam Ludin Ludin. <laughs> 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 
she emailed Iris. Philippine Amanda. Si Yujun. Sin Atarika. So be in. So Ching Hong. Sam Hong Min. City Haja AB. Hanim. Sung Wei Chen Esther. Sum Wen Chi. Tai Yin. Thai IT. Tang Ben Hui. Tang Ching Wei. Godwin. Tang Even. Tang Hui Chin. Tang Jian Cai San. Tang Kia Min, Joanna. Tang Ni Yin. Tang Wei Kiet. Tang Wei Ming, Kenneth. Tang Yi Lin. Tang Qing Yi, Marilyn. Tang Xin Yan. Tai Ching Kang, Johan. Tai Tsui. Tai Hong Yin. Ten Jin Zong. Tai Xiu Wen Vivian. Tiu Xiang Yu Aloysius.
thi yunnan sam su wi xiang sin su min Pense in Maria. Tsuna Yuin Zui. Vanessa Ang Ching Wen. Vipha Oshuk Gariwala. Wang Yijun. Wei Yuan Yuan, Wang Jia Yin, Wang Yi Jin. Wang Xiangtong Sharon. Wang Wei Chen. Wang Yongxun. Wang Zhenin, Xie Zhengyang, Yan Chuan, Yao Zhangyin. Yap Chi Xiong. Yap Chin Xie. Yi Zhuang Li. Ye Ru Jie. Yu Hui Ni Benita. Yu Hui Min. Yu Su Pin. Yu Wei Shen. Yu Hong Meng, Yu Wei Tong, Yip Wen Sum, Ivan Yu. We win.
真君士。Anika Vidyata Verti Ku, Ang Wei Yang, Angelina Jumin Grace. Chen Ang Yin, Jasmine. Chang Xi Long. Qi Xiu Nin, Yinle. Chen Hui Tin. Chen Qin Lin. Chiu Mi Hui. Cha Qing Oi Kaven. Chia Cui Shan. Chia Hui Min. Qin Su Jin. Chen Hui Shan, Cheryl. Chu Pei De Brian, Uh, Mr. Pro Chancellor, may I present the graduates on who the following degree has earlier been conferred? Bachelor of the Science, Cha Darrow. <laughs> D. Piriyada Rossini. Du Dan Dan and Shi Ying Esther Shi Hui. Eunice Ong Weiling. <laughs> Fazila Favin Nasa. <laughs> Fazina Lu, daughter of Muhammad A. Felix Fanuzi. <laughs> Fu Sting. <laughs> Fu 
方美美。高淑惠，好，嘉琪 Josephine， 黄继远。Jacqueline C. Yuan Ting, <clears throat> Jajangjo Song of the Tapano, <clears throat> Kating Song of the R. Kanu Sakaro. Kenny Chow Li Wen, Gao Yi An, Gao Han Zhen. Gao Tang Chi Valerie, Gao Yang Chu Audrey, Lao Xing Yang Xavier. Lin King Song, Li Xingjia, Li Si Hui, Li Su Xian. Li Wenxi Dong, Li Zhao Wen Nicholas, Li Zhengling Daryl. Liu Pek Yi, Lian Shi Li Jasmine, Liu Xing Yi Xingli, Lin Kyo Shen Samanda Lin Su Hui Lin Yao Zi Sandri Lin Su Jen, Michelle, Mohammed Faisal B. Shandarudin. Mohammed 
Fadili B. Jamarudin. Lan Ya Rui Frisian. Niu Hao Zhou. Ang Hui Zhen. Ang Xing Yi. Ang Xing Yi Petrina. An Zi Yan. Noranisa, daughter of the Shah Ika A. Nu Fahana Binti Ramana. Nu Hidaya Binti Ismail. Ang Pei Shen. Ang Ping Jing. Ang Se Ling. Ang Su Ping. Wu Mei Zi Yunis. Pamela Tu Leming. Patricia Jennifer Ang. <laughs> Ruhila Binti Abudu Malaf. <laughs> Regina Tang Hui Ling. Ryan Ritina uh, Francisco. <laughs> Zuzangna Binti Supa. <laughs> S. Lishanani Davy. Sanduni Udanga Nanayakakara. <laughs> Saniru Dioshin Amarakashkara. <laughs> Se Tzu Yen Amelia. Shop as Nas Sung Sing Ye Sing Carmen Christabella.
Sidi Aish Ayang Binti Azan. Siti Nushahida Binti Rosman. Sung Yao Lei. Scarving Co Daughter of Gurdipa S. Tang Chu Ling Renessa. Tang Hao Ling. Tang Wei Yi. Tang Wei Lian Spencer. Tang Ying Ling. Tan Zi Wei Hazel. Tay Ai Lian. Tay Ru Jing. Da Yeki. Tan Su Hong Regina. Tiu Su Jen Jasmine. Tiu Jie Xiang. Tay Xing Xiang. Tang Yi Xing. Tay Fang Han Jonathan. Tay Pei Ling Rebecca. Two back get. Tang Xing Yi Sring. Wang Wei Shen. Ya Wei Ming. Yao Meiling Joanna. Yao Xiangyun. Yu Xingyin. Yu Song.
周马。Bachelor of the Science, Computational Biology. Winner of the Lijiang Industrial Development uh, Medal, Er Hui Di Jian Benjamin. <laughs> Winner of the Li Songping Book Prize, Zhang Pan. Joanna Tang Hui Jen. <laughs> Gao Li Heng Keys. There are two valedictorians for this ceremony. The first valedictorian is Ms. Nyasha Binti Muhammad Rafiki, who graduated with the degree of the Bachelor of the Science with second class honor, up divisions. The second valedictorian is Dr. Ong Chui Xing, who graduated with the degree of the Doctor of the Philosophy. Ms. Nisha will deliver her first speech first. Mr. Nyam Tongdao, NUS Pro Chancellor, Emeritus Professor Hugh Choi Leong, Department of Biological Sciences, National University of Singapore, Distinguished guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. It is my great honor and privilege to address you on behalf of the graduating class of 2012 from the Faculty of Science. To all my fellow graduates, let me begin by extending my heartiest congratulations to all of you. When we first entered NUS, most of us were uncertain about what the future really holds for us. As we stepped foot onto it, we began as academic traders on a stock market called COS which I believe all of you are familiar with. We started poor with only 400 points in our general account. But we dreamt big about the kind of modules we wanted to buy and learned about. No doubt, we became professional bidders over the years and were more careful on our choice of modules. But more importantly, it was also through these years in the US that played a huge role in nurturing our minds and equipping us with the right skills through lectures, laboratory sessions, and to some of you, the unforgettable final year project. <laughs> in addition, all of us have sat through lectures and done projects together, and over the years, from kinships that made the NUS journey an exceptional event in our lives and will never be forgotten. But now, the time has come to step into adult life. Most of us will be joining the workforce or have already, have already joined. And I feel it's an apt moment to share with you a favorite quote of mine by Steve Jobs in one of his commencement speeches to Stanford graduates. He said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you have not found it yet, keep looking, don't settle. 
Hence, despite the uncertain state of economy this year, I hope that many of you here today will not just settle, but rather make your passion a reality and live your dreams despite the challenges ahead. To the graduating class of 2012, today marks our years of hard work in striving for academic excellence. This would not be possible without the support, love and guidance from our family members, lecturers and friends. Firstly, my deepest gratitude goes to the professors and teaching staff for their constant guidance and patience in, ans in answering our queries. To Professor Matsudaira and Mr. Lim Yaa Kien, thank you very much for seeing me through this joint degree program with King's College. To my friends, to all my friends actually present today, in particular Kang Ting, Xu Hui, Zahira and Samsudin, these four years would not have been so colourful and wonderful without your, your, without your company, support and laughter. To my family members who are present today, especially my mum, who is in orange today, who is also very excited about me standing here, who was the one who prepared everything for me today, just like all mums here, who often listens to my presentations at home because I needed an audience. You are bionic, amazing, and I really love you. To all parents present today, congratulations. Our achievement today is a result of your commitment to our success. Lastly, let me end my speech with a saying from Muhammad, a man ranked first in the 100, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. He said, grab five things before five, your youth before your old age, your health before your illness, your wealth before your poverty, your free time before your preoccupation, and your life before your death. Thank you very much. Mr. Nyam Tong Dao, NUS Pro Chancellor, Emeritus Professor Hugh Choi Leong, Department of Biological Sciences, National University of Singapore. Distinguished guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. <laughs> it is a great honor to represent the class of, of 2012 in delivering this speech. Firstly, to my fellow graduates of 2012, a hearty congratulations to you all for having achieved such a significant milestone in your education. Today, as we celebrate this joyous occasion, I believe many of us will recall sweet memories of how we first began. <laughs> we remember the excitement when, as undergraduate students, we first received our matriculation cards, the crazy things we did at orientation camps, and even those freshman moments when we were lost navigating through the course bidding system or when we stepped onto the wrong internal shuttle bus, finding ourselves heading towards Cane Vale instead of campus. <laughs> As postgraduates, we may also recall how we were initially caught up with finding the right project to work on, only to discover in later years that in any project, having the right finding was more important. In the twinkling of an eye, semesters have passed since those first moments for us, and now we stand amazed at how we were able to survive the rigorous training here at NUS. For undergraduates, this has entailed long lectures, laboratory sessions, frequent CAs and assignments, and for postgraduates, having to juggle coursework, passing oral examinations, and manuscript writing. This journey was often not smooth sailing, and we've all had our fair share of devastating moments having been stuck in tests where we can't remember our biochemistry tricarboxylate cycles, or in experimental troubleshooting when we just can't get our PCR band. <laughs> However, being seated here today in this commencement ceremony, to paraphrase Sun Tzu's quote, we may have lost some battles, but not the war. We are now degree holders from one of the top Asian universities, considered to be among the best in the world. We have received a prestigious education in science that spans both breadth and depth in knowledge, and we have also been exposed 
to different research and exchange programs that have equipped us with hard and soft skill sets for entering the workforce ahead. I believe, even as we graduate today from the Faculty of Science, we may also have been empowered with experiences that can take us to disciplines further than science. Let us therefore also take this time to appreciate our university, our faculty, our professors for, filling, for, fulfilling, for crafting this fulfilling education experience for us. Looking ahead, we may be entering the workforce in uncertain economic times, where nations and companies alike are facing an uphill challenge to solve diverse economic and scientific problems. These include climate change, food and water shortages, and achieving sustainable growth, to name a few. Additionally, the global financial situation has yet to stabilize. Nevertheless, if we could recall how our forefathers, or more directly, our parents, saw Singapore through difficult times to where we are today, perhaps overcoming these challenges will be the achievements of our generation. The educational resilience and intellectual training that we have acquired as graduates in NUS could possibly be the makeup necessary for us to meet the needs of the economy ahead. Even as we are beginning our careers and our paths ahead seem long, let us not lose heart the same way we didn't in these 20 years of education. Let's remember the vision of our NUS president that graduates from NUS would serve the community, nation and society. Specific to our science course, many of us may also aspire to be the next Darwin, Watson and Crick, or more locally, Olivia Lum of High Flux. While they may share diverse traits as theorists, scientists and entrepreneurs, perhaps we can move ahead with these guiding principles distilled from them. Like Watson and Crick, we should always relook and rethink available scientific resources that would thus ensure a natural selection of the fittest ideas so as to quench the world's thirst to solve for developments to solve existing problems. In closing, as we celebrate our graduation today, let us also give thanks to our supervisors and loved ones who have provided much support both emotionally and financially throughout our education here. On a personal note, I would like to thank NUS for the research scholarship, my PhD and honours supervisor, Associate Professor Sanjay Swarup, for his scientific guidance and constant encouragement, and the DBS staff team that provided much administrative and technical support throughout these years. I would also like to extend my gratitude to my family members, loved ones and friends, and above all God, who has been a constant source of hope for me. To my fellow graduates, congratulations once again, and all the best to your future endeavours. Thank you. Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we would like to extend our heartiest congratulations to you on your commencement. We warmly welcome you to the NUS alumni family. I declare this ceremony closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. As we remain standing, my fellow graduates, this is a proud day for all of us and for our parents and loved ones who have supported us in our journey here. Therefore, before we leave this hall, let us take this opportunity to show our appreciation for our family and friends with a round of applause. Please join me in this gesture. Congratulations, class of 2012.